You know what has the power to unite us? Music. I'm Kevin Olushala. I play cello, and I'm also the beatboxer of the Grammy Award-winning a cappella group, Pentatonix. I'm on an epic cross-country road trip to find the best young musicians in America in all their diversity and glory. Bravo! Thank you. And of course, jam with them. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Actually, I'm closer to Kansas than I've ever been in my entire life. I'm in Oklahoma. Not sure where at the moment, but if my GPS is working correctly, I'm headed to Purcell, Oklahoma to meet this incredible 18-year-old, Taylor Aiken. He's just your average Oklahoma kid, rebuilding old cars, drag racing, working at the ranch. And of course, he's this incredible classical musician. He plays the bassoon and he makes that thing sing. And I think he plays a little bit of saxophone too. Oh, I think this is the place. Hey, what's hey, up, Kevin? Kevin? So good to meet you. It's Hi. great to meet you, man. Hi, Kevin. Mark Aiken. So good to meet good you. To good meet to meet you. you. And are you mama? Come here, mama. Are you? My name is Taylor Aiken, and I'm a bassoonist from Oklahoma. I'm 18 years old, and I go to Washington High School. So this is the horse barn at the back of your house. Yeah, yeah. So there's 23 in here. OK. And there's 10 or 15 strewn about the property. Why so many horses? Well, the horses in here, the majority of them are show horses. OK. And then there's quite a few mares turned out. But we have show horses and breeding horses both. Can I feed any of them? Or can I meet any of them? Or? <laughs> Yeah. I just um, want to do that. I, I'm a Kentucky boy, and it, funny enough, I've actually never fed a horse. I got some for you. Oh, oh, well, didn't you have that? Wait, or he, he'll, he'll or, just eat my finger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you get to do this and have things like this on a daily basis. It's almost as good as music. Almost. Yeah. Music um, is the real passion. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, cars, music, and then horses. This is our shop. This is crazy. I didn't realize it was gonna be this huge. Like, Y'all do this for as a job, right? Like, no, this is hobby. All this for your hobby? This is our hobby. This oh is my. fun. This is ridiculous. This is a man cave. <laughs> so, now man what, cave deluxe. <laughs> man cave, exactly. So these are a lot of pictures of my brother and I okay. um, when we did drag racing, um, half scale junior, drags, um, junior dragster racing. Wow. This is a purple 1932 Ford Coupe. And how long did it take you guys to build this? One year, almost exactly, to completion. Holy, this is Lots crazy. of hours. C can we get in this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Man, they got out of there in a hurry. Really? I think we may have spun the tires Jeez. a little bit. I mean, when you cook, you obviously throw down because this is incredible. Do you cook like this all the time? Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard that this is not actually the original house on this property. Is that correct? We've been hit by a tornado twice. With this house? Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine how y'all like overcome that because having It wasn't vehicles, easy. It's so crazy. I'll tell you one of the hardest things about the whole thing was though, mm -hmm was uh, having to practice in the hotel. So wait, mom and dad, are you both musicians as well? I am. <laughs> what, do you, what do you play? Radio. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have no musical talent whatsoever. So now then, how do you guys have this son that loves classical music in the heart of country? I mean, it's kind of strange, right? Very. <laughs> and this is my room. Wow. You've got so many different eclectic type of things in here. I'm, I'm a bit of an entrepreneur. You know, I started my own cell phone business. 100%. Um, I had my own candy business when I was in fifth grade. Um, sold a lot of freaking candy, by the way. <laughs> You're trying to enter a, a world of music that is big and yeah. there's so much competition. Yeah. Does that make you fearful at all? As a perfectionist, a, a hardcore perfectionist, <laughs> um, music was something that was really, really difficult to accept would never be perfect, mm -hmm. you know? And, and, it, and it's really, you know, it's not always supposed to be. It's, it's more about how it conveys the feeling to the audience than, than being 100% correct.
I've played music all my life, and it really comes down to two things, hard work and having really good direction. My teacher, Professor Rod Ackman, his mentorship really is what not only kept me in music, but made me love it so much. Dude, even in an indoor football field, you have such a gorgeous tone. That was so heartfelt and so moving. I can't wait for Kevin to come to the school to play some jazz together. I am so excited. Hey, what's up, guys? Wow. One, two, ready, hang.